Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the fifth CPSA How to Hit series, sponsored by Browning and filmed here at the National Clay Shooting Centre at Bisley. In this episode, I'm going to be taking you through shooting ABT from the various pads and explaining the oh. different foot position, hold position, and with the shot cam on, you'll also be able to see the variation in height and angles of the target. As per all the videos we've done in this, this series, foot positioning is paramount. For ABT, because the, the, the shooting pads are in a straight line, my feet, for a right-handed shooter, are in the front right corner, a 45 degree line between the toe caps there. On stands one, two and three, I'm in the front right corner. When I get to stands four and five, I will be in the front left. A foot position like this allows me to swing my body to cover the wider angle of targets that we get with ABT. Now for left-handed shooters, same positions, but other way around. For one, two and three, the front right, and four and five, the front left. The gun hold point will be the clay above the trap on the front lip of the trap house. The clay's there just as an indicator for the video, but is that's where your gun hold point for ABT is, on or just above the center of the trap house front lip. Visual pickup point will be out above the barrels as it was in the downward line. The targets are released acoustically, which means when I call pull, the microphone detects the voice and releases the target. The shooting technique on ABT is very similar to that of the and down the line. Now, although I've got the wider angle and an increase in height, <clears throat> the method used is still the same. The gun is on the hole point. My eyes are out above the barrel on a soft focus. I call pull and I'm waiting until I see the target clearly before moving the gun. Now, if the target is going away from me, whether it's rising or level, I'm going to take the gun to it. However, a wider angle, either left or right, creating more of a crossing target, I'm going to take the gun to it and through it. But the speed of the gun, the impression I get is I'm taking the shot at the target, but the speed will take the gun in front and apply the lead that's necessary and I'll take the shot. The key here, as all shooting, is maintaining a hard focus on the clay. Remember you've got two shots at this, you miss the first, you take a second shot, it's still one point in regards to the first barrel or second barrel hit, but maintain a hard focus on that target. Very important. Pull. Shot taken, I unload and I wait. The next man has got 10 seconds to take a shot after I've done mine or 15 seconds if it's a, a, a full squad or a shoot off. Once he's taken the shot, I then move off my pad and wait. The person who's behind me moves on to their pad to prepare and I wait until he, this pet, the shooter on pad two has moved. Once he's moved off, I then move on to the pad, adopt my position, load and wait. Again, my feet are in the front right-hand corner. The reason the foot position is in the front right corner on what position one, two and three and the front left corner of four and five is to keep the body as close to the center line as we can. And my body is able to move comfortably covering both sides of the center line I'm not favoring one side over the other. Pull. I'm now in position three, feet, front right corner, nice 45 degree line there. Unlike down the line, where the gun hold point changes, I'm using the same gun hold point on all five positions, that being the center front lip of the trap house. You can have it either on or above. I'm using on it for this layout and it's working well.
I've now moved, moved to position four, and as you can see from my feet, I've now moved to the front left-hand side, get myself closer to the center line. Gun hole point is still the clay above the trap, eyes still out above the barrel. I'm now in the fifth and final position, feet, front left corner again, nicely covering all the wide angles, gun hold on the clay above the trap, eyes out in the distance. And just to reiterate what I've said on previous down the line the ABT videos, the gun must be unloaded after you've taken your shots on stand five before you turn and walk to stand one and stand behind the shooter there. In the next episode, we're going to be introducing Olympic trap, the rules and regulations, and the one after that, how to shoot it. But for this episode, that's how you shoot ABT.